Hello good dear viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting logarithmic equation. We are asked to solve the equation the log of x with the base of 3 root x plus log of root x with the base of 3x equal to 0. Before we start let us talk about domain. You know the argument cannot be equal to 0. It has to be greater than 0. Therefore in both cases you can see that x must be greater than 0. And you know the base cannot be equal to 1. So let's start with the first one. 3 root x cannot be equal to 1, which implies that uh, square root of x cannot be equal to 1 divided by 3. And if you square both sides, you have x not equal to 1 divided by 9. So we have the second restriction. x cannot be 1 divided by 9. And the last one, we have 3x. If 3x cannot be equal to 1, it implies x cannot be 1 divided by 3. So x cannot be 1 divided by 3. And these are the three restrictions. So let's get started. Um, here is the equation. Let us apply change of base formula. You know, if you have log of a with the base of b, you can always write it as log of a divided by log of b b with any assigned base so it doesn't matter it can be c c d d whatever so we can write this as log of x divided by log of 3 root x so we have log of x divided by log of 3 root x but i would like to use base 3 for a purpose because i realize this will cancel later so we have 3 here we have 3 here then from the other side, you can see we're going to have log of root x divided by log of 3x. So we have log of root x divided by log of 3x. Remember, we have base 3 in each case. So this is 3. This is also 3. The whole of this equal to 0, right? And let us apply another law of logarithm which stated that if you have log of a b this can be written as log of a plus log of b in order to split these terms and you know another law which stated that if you have log of the square root of a this is the same thing as log of what a raised to the power of 1 over 2 and this 1 over 2 can always drop down to multiply so this is what 1 divided by 2 log of a. Therefore, this can be written as 1 divided by 2 log of x. So now let us transform all of them. From the left hand side, we have log of x base 3, log of x base 3, divided by, we have log of 3 plus log of root x. Log of 3, remember base 3, plus log of root x which is the same thing as 1 divided by 2 log of x 1 divided by 2 log of x the same thing base 3 then plus the other side we have 1 divided by 2 log of x to the top 1 divided by 2 log of x base 3 divided by we have log of 3 plus log of x log of 3 plus log of x base 3 the whole of this equal to 0 we are moving and from here you know from one of the laws of logarithm we stated that log of a number having the same base as the number will forever give us 1 so this is 1 this is also 1 so we have log of x base 3 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 2 log of x base 3 plus 1 divided by 2 log of x base 3 divided by 1 plus log of x base 3 and the whole of this equal to 0. Now let us simplify this a little bit because we have some fractions. We can write it as equivalent fraction. We can multiply the top and the bottom by 2 just to clear the fraction. So if you multiply the top by 2 you have 2 log x base 3 divided by you multiply everything here by 2 for equivalency 1 times 2 is 2 plus half times 2 is 1 so we only have log of x 
there's 3 plus we do the same thing here we multiply the top and the bottom by 2 multiplying the top by 2 it will cancel the fraction leaving log of x base 3 divide by 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 log of x base 3 the whole of this equal to 0 now what is the LCM between the denominators you can just multiply them together you have 2 plus log of x base 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 log of x base 3. Now if you take the whole of this and plug it here, it will go there exactly these times. And you have to take it to multiply with the numerator to the top. So to the top we have 2 log x base 3 multiplied by the whole of 2 plus 2 log of uh, x base 3 plus if you take this you plug it in here you're going to have the other factor 2 plus log of x base 3 you have to multiply with the numerator which is log of x base 3 so we have log of x base 3 multiplied by 2 plus log of x base 3 the whole of this equal to 0 you know the denominator cannot be equal to 0 so this implies that we have to set our numerator to be equal to 0 but I would like to do a kind of substitution let log of x base 3 be equal to y so we have 2 times y here 2 times y in the bracket we have 2 plus 2y 2, 2 plus 2y then plus log of x base 3 is y inside we have 2 plus y 2 plus y and the whole of this equal to 0 let's expand 2y times 2 is 4y 2y times 2y will give us 4y squared plus y times 2 will give us 2y plus y times y is y squared the whole of this equal to 0 Collect the like times, we have 4y squared and y squared, making 5y squared. 5y squared plus 4y plus 2y is 6y equal to 0. By factorization, y outside, inside, we have 5y plus 6. The whole of this equal to 0. This implies that either y equal to 0 or 5y plus 6 equal to 0. And 5y plus 6, if you take 6 to the other side and divide both sides by 5, you have y equal to negative 6 divided by 5. y equal to 0, right? So these are the two values of y, but remember our equation was in terms of x, which we have declared y to be log of x base 3. So let me bring it back. y is what? y equal to log of x base 3. And we have two values of y, 0 and negative 6 divided by 5, which implies that this log of x, the steady could either be 0 or log of x, the steady equal to negative 6 divided by 5. From definition of logarithm, 3 raised to the power of 0 will give us x, right? Therefore, x equal to 3 to the power of 0, which implies x equal to 1, one of the solutions. Or... Uh, x here equal to 3 raised to the power of negative 6 divided by 5. Uh, x equal to 1 divided by 3 to the positive 6 divided by 5. We have to simplify this a little bit. This is equal to 1 divided by the fifth root of 3 to the power of 6. And you know 3 to the power of 6 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 5 times 3 according to one of the laws of indices. So we can write this as 1 divided by the fifth root of 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 1. And um, the fifth root of 3 to the power of 5 is 3. So this is equal to 1 divided by 3 times fifth root of 3. And you can rationalize the denominator if you like. Otherwise, you can leave your answer like this. But it's not must. Therefore, we can leave our answer like this. You know, 
one of the solution is 1 or x equal to 1 divided by 3 times the fifth root of 3 which is in decimal equal to or approximately equal to 0 0.2676 to what? Four decimal places. So x could be one or this value. So these are the values of x. An assignment for you is to test whether these values will satisfy our original equation or not. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.